All right, this is chapter 15 on the trail of treasure. Uh, so this chapter, I f it's not really that bad. Uh, there's just the the one uh battle towards the end of the chapter in the the graveyard area that can be a little tricky uh but not as much of a hassle as I was expecting it to be uh but after main well I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself uh after you platform uh up to this area when you drop in through this window uh as soon as you get onto the ground uh you wanna uh hang down onto this ledge or just get all the way over by uh the wall here since these first two guys usually they'll just come right in through the doorway and uh try to kill you and they have killed me uh i found going into free aim and then staying on the right side of this doorway i was able to kill pretty much all the guys down this hallway without really sticking my head out to face them uh the last one was the second guy that didn't come into the doorway with the first guy. So I just kind of hey, met him so close up and, uh, well, and sucker punched him right in the face after like shooting a couple bullets into him. Uh, so. Yeah. so that area was actually somewhat easier than I remember it being. Now, I don't know if you, from one of those ledges, if you can actually drop down into that room. Uh, I didn't trust that I wasn't going to die if I dropped down, so I just chose not to. Uh, But uh, when you climb up here and drop into this room, uh, you want to get in the cover immediately. Mainly because there's two guys that show up and I believe one of them has a shotgun. I'm not sure if both of them did. Um, I can't remember. Uh, it's weird. I vaguely remember there being three guys that came out of that that little side room <clears throat> but I might be misremembering and it's only two guys because I was actually like waiting for I thought maybe the third guy was like hanging back there waiting for me to move up uh, closer but it may just always only be two guys and I was just misremembering I don't know so uh, this whole thing is a giant platforming section where you need to get to the left and right side and uh, bring down the the keys to open up that uh, that doorway. Uh, I'll just let this play out since there really isn't a whole lot of strategy to do this. And I'll pick the commentary back up when we get outside for the for that graveyard battle.
Alright, so when you finally bring down the second key, uh, it really doesn't matter which side you go to first and second. Uh, the biggest thing you need to deal with when you um, climb over, uh, when you jump on the chain, as soon as you make that first swing, just jump, and you should grab onto that like little hand grip there. Uh, I've had issues in the past where I didn't immediately jump on the initial swing over when I jumped on the chain and I ended up like falling to my death. So it's basically as soon as you jump on the chain you sw and you your momentum brings you over it just jump and you should grab onto the 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 grip and then be able to jump to the door platform. Uh, so coming into this area, you want to pick up this sniper rifle, and uh, definitely want to kill the first guy. Uh, that guy ducked, so I end up having to waste an additional shot. And I really should have waited for that guy to stop moving, since hitting the moving target wasn't that very well. Uh, the biggest thing you need to be aware of is that the guy all the way on the other side has the M79 shot. Uh, not that guy, but the the guy that's he's basically directly across from where I am now. Uh, <clears throat> You, you definitely want to save a sniper shot for the guy with the M79 since like right now he's the last guy left and trying to see him without the without the dragon sniper is kind of annoying just because of like the trees that are in the way and everything so See, I'm just kind of like blind shooting, hoping I hit him. Um, but once he's dead and all the other soldiers are dead, uh, the reason I use the dragon sniper on the very first guy and then dealt with the the two additional guys on the ground here is that if you don't kill those guys they will actually come up and try and flank you um, where you are uh, now when you come into this area try and pick up the M79 shot because right where I aimed all three guys got killed with that shot and then there's this one lone shotgun guy that's on the on the other side of where they were. So if you're quick enough and can do it, you can easily get all three of those guys with one uh, with one M79 shot. Uh, like they're just all right in that area. Uh, but once you deal with them, uh, when you come into here, there's a little, it's, it's a little puzzle where you need to rotate the symbols. Uh, you really only need to rotate, uh, three of the symbols, um, and then we just move on to, uh, the next chapter. Navarro really tore this place up. You sure we're in the right place?